Uh, hello. This short video will step you through the process of finding, downloading, and installing the term project files from Canvas. The first thing we want to do is we need to uh, create a temporary file on our C drive. So to do that, to do that, click on the the Windows icon in the lower left hand corner of your screen, and then click on click on File Explorer. That will bring up File Explorer <coughs> menu. Then you want to go to your local disk C drive, click on that, then you go to home and create a new folder. In that new folder box that comes up, type in temp. In my case, I already have a temp file created, so for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm gonna type mine in as temp2 because I already have a temp and a temp1. For you, you shouldn't, you'll, you'll just type in temp and hit enter. Okay, and then we can close that. Now the next thing we wanna do is we want to log into uh, Canvas. If you, haven't, uh, if you haven't logged into Canvas, go ahead and log into Canvas. Uh, <clears throat> and once you're in, click on modules. Once you click on modules, scroll down to the term project materials. I believe that they're below um, lesson eight. Yeah, they are. And what you'll see here is uh, four, four files under term projects. One is a citing transmission line using EPRI the EPRI technical document, the sample routing project.zip file, and a transmission line citing instructions ArcGIS Pro document. So go ahead and click on the citing transmission lines uh, using EPRI GTC. And that brings up uh, the file associated with that. What you want to do is go ahead and click Download Citing Transmission Line. It's going to ask you where you want to save it. And we're going to and we're going to do this. We're going to go to um, Click on desktop. Click on new folder. Create a folder called GEOG 469. Once you have created that, I already have I already have a, a geography 469 and a geography 4691 created, so I'm just naming mine uh, geography 469 two just for this demonstration purposes. But you want to make sure that you just your file is called your folder is called geography 469. Once you've done that, click on it. And then <clears throat> click save. And that citing transmission line uh, using EPRI GTC will be saved there. Okay, now go back to modules in, in Canvas. Scroll down to your term project materials.
click on the second document, which is every technical document to open it. Click, click download every technical, technical document. And it should point now to your desktop and to the uh, geography 469 folder you created and just hit save. And again, we want to do the same thing for the last two the last two files. So go back to, to in Canvas, go back to modules. Click on sample routing project.zip under term project materials. Then click download sample routing project.zip. And then save it to the your geography 469 folder, which should be active. Click save. And, and lastly, go back to modules again in Canvas. Scroll down to your term project materials. And we'll <clears throat> we'll save the last file, transmission line citing exercise instructions, arcgispro.doc. Click on that. Click on download the document. And then again, uh, save it to your Geography 469 folder, which should be active. Click Save. Once that's saved, go ahead and minimize your, your search engine win window. Now, cl click on the Windows uh, icon in the lower left-hand corner of your computer screen. Go to File Explorer. Go to your desktop. And click on your geography 469 file for for this demonstration i'm using i'm using my geography 469 2 file because i've already had created previously a geography 469 okay so you see the when you open that you'll see that you have the four files downloaded now what we need to do is we need to um extract a sample routing project.zip file because it's a compressed file. So what you want to do is, is um, right click on the sample routing project zip, extract, click on extract all. Now what we want to do is select a destination and extract files. So we need to, we need to uh, uh, find our C temp file. So click browse. Click on local disk C, then scroll down to your to your your temp file. In in this demonstration, I'm using temp two because I already created a temp one previously. So click on your temp file, and then click select folder. And as you can see in the window, you'll see C temp. In my case, it's C temp two. Then click extract. Now the files in that compressed sample routing project uh, are being <clears throat> uncompressed 
And these are the files that will be used to run uh, the ArcGIS Pro for uh, lesson nine. Okay, once they have been extracted, go to your local disk C drive, click on that, go to your temp file, in my case here it's temp2, click on sample routing project, and you should see seven <clears throat> items. We have a folder called analysis, a folder called data, then we have a base mxd.mxd, we have a base.mxd.xml, we have a sample project toolbox version three, a simplified EPRI model Excel spreadsheet, and a simplified route evaluation spreadsheet uh, uh, there. If you have all these, you've extracted the, the necessary files to complete lesson nine. Congratulations and thanks again.